Hey guys, Fisher4k here. Um, I finally set up a tank for my loaches and well you know I do all of my tanks with Plasti Dip and I wanted to show you guys how I do it and uh, just share it with you so you guys can kind of see how I go about doing it and what it looks like. I do recommend Plasti Dip. It is really cool and it's a strong durable finish. Um, I've never had it scratch or tear or anything like that so just wanted to show you guys. Uh, the first thing you want to do is clean the the glass. Um, I just take a microfiber towel and I wipe it down with alcohol and uh, that's good enough. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to use masking tape to mask off the areas that you don't want to get paint on. Um, I do recommend that you don't run the masking tape all the way to the edge. Kind of just leave a little bit. That way it over, overlaps a little bit. Um, and then I just used uh, some paper targets here and then the cardboard that came with the, the aquarium to kind of prevent overspray to the side. But I mean, you can use whatever. Uh, newspaper works fine too. Um, yeah, so Plasti Dip is, it's awesome, man. It's, it's, I consider it semi-permanent since it does peel off. Uh, if you ever want to change it or if you sell the tank or whatever, it's cool to have uh, a clean sheet of glass underneath um, whereas like if you painted it with paint um, it would be kind of a pain to take it off right so here I'm just showing you guys what I used uh, was using 3m tape the blue tape uh, but I ran out so I was just using office tape and that worked fine um, this is some of the alcohol it's nothing special just rubbing alcohol it can be any percentage but I had 70 and then the Plasti Dip I used is the color Blurple. Uh, it's a combination of blue and purple. So here is the item number. And what I do is I end up just buying it whenever it's on sale at Pet Boys. Because uh, usually that's when it's the cheapest. They'll have like buy two get one free or buy one get the other one 50% off. It is a little more expensive than uh, spray paint. But it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So... Um, just check online for sales and stuff. Just save a couple bucks. So here I'm painting it. I'm about maybe four to five inches from the nozzle to the glass. Now I know that's kind of close, but it was a very windy day, so I had to get um, up close to the glass. Now I know right off the bat, some of you painters out there might be thinking that it's going to look ugly. Uh, it's not. Now the reason for that is because... Plasti Dip is kind of different. Um, it's not like sp spraying um, paint like with an air gun or anything like that because it's basically like liquid plastic or liquid rubber. So uh, it goes on kind of weird, but just hang in, hang with me. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. It looks really nice. Um, so the first thing I do is I start from side to side and then I'll follow through um, with another pass from top to bottom. Now, uh, shooting side to side and then top to bottom, I consider that one coat. And with Plasti Dip, you definitely want to make sure that you get enough coats to coat the glass because if you don't, you can have areas of the, the glass where it's not completely covered and light can bleed through from the back. Um, and you'd be able to see it from the front. So just shoot it side to side, up and down, you'll be all right. Um, one thing that's super important with Plasti Dip is you don't want to let it get dry um, before you put the final coat on. Um, so just try to keep it wet, um, not to the point where it's dripping uh, or blotchy or anything, just to where it's kind of tacky. Um, like I said, I know it looks kind of funky, but uh, check out the end results and then you know we'll see how it looks like. So then after I put the first coat on, I waited about two to three minutes before shooting each additional coat. Now it did take me a total of seven coats. Um, and here I fast forward just to show you guys what it looks like uh, putting the last one on. Um, so as you can see, it's it's on there pretty thick. Um, like I said, the key to getting Plasti Dip on glass for an aquarium is getting it um, a nice thick layer that's wet and not runny. Uh, if it looks kind of blotchy and kind of like orange peel effect, it's fine. Um, from the front, it's going to look like awesome. So just hang on. Um, 
One thing I do recommend is that you remove the masking materials right after you shoot the last coat. Um, just to kind of prevent the plastic dip from drying over the tape. And then, you know, you might pull it off by accident as you're taking the tape off. So just go ahead and take it off right after you're done uh, spraying the last coat and you'll be fine. Um, just, of course, you know, try not to touch the, the back or any part of the glass that's painted and it'll be okay. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like um, once it's cured from behind. As you can see, it looks pretty solid. Um, you still kind of have like that orange peel effect to it. And here I'm just kind of zooming in to where it kind of blotched there. And then, you know, a little piece of dust got underneath and uh, just showing you guys that. But no worries, it looks perfect from the front. So let me sh flip it over and show you guys what it's looking like. Uh, this is maybe five, ten minutes after I peeled the tape off and it's already cured to, it's like solid. Now after you paint it, you don't want to touch it. Um, I would say you probably let it sit for a day and then go ahead and move it. But even when you move it, try not to, you know, touch the plastic dip. And so here, as you can see, the blue is a really nice color. I think uh, Plasti Dip Blurple is awesome for aquariums. It's a really cool blue. It does give you contrast uh, to your fish and decor, plants and stuff like that. Um, and another thing too is it eliminates um, reflections. So you don't see it. Uh, it's super cool. But anyways, I'll be showing you guys this tank in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, that about wraps it up. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and peace, y'all.